You've heard of Bitcoin, but what is it really? In this video, I'll explain Bitcoin in plain English, no hype, no jargon, and if you want the full breakdown, check out our full beginner's guide right here on blockchainacademics.com and make sure to hit that subscribe button. You may be wondering, what is Bitcoin? Bitcoin is a digital money created in 2009 by a group or person called Satoshi Nakamoto. Unlike traditional money, it's not printed by any bank, it runs on the internet, all transactions are on a public ledger for everybody to see, usually referred to as the blockchain, and the beauty is no banks, governments, or middlemen are involved. It's important to take note on why Bitcoin was created. It launched during the 2008 financial crisis as an alternative to centralized banks. It's scarce. Only 21 million will ever exist, unlike the infinite supply of fiat, and every four years, the issuance of Bitcoin, the supply is reduced in half, known as the Bitcoin halving. So you can see the issuance and the correlation of price is extreme, where the price of Bitcoin is moving upwards, while the daily issuance of Bitcoin is moving downwards. Bitcoin is decentralized. No single authority controls it. It's transparent. Anyone can view the full transaction history and it's secure. It uses cryptography and proof of work mining to validate transfers. And it's often said Bitcoin is to money what the internet was to communication. You may be wondering, how does Bitcoin work? Bitcoin transactions are verified by miners through the proof of work. New transactions are added to blocks every 10 minutes. Miners are rewarded with Bitcoin and the system is secured by math and electricity. Anyone can view the blockchain. It's 100% transparent. Mining requires powerful computers. Bitcoin is used for many things and it's still evolving. People use Bitcoin for several things like digital payments, some online stores, and even physical retailers accept Bitcoin for goods and services. It's a huge store of value, often called digital gold. Bitcoin is seen as a hedge against inflation and a way to preserve wealth, trading and investing. Many people buy Bitcoin as a long-term investment or trade it to, like a stock on crypto exchanges in global transfers. Bitcoin makes it easy to send money internationally without fees or delays from the traditional banks. Now, let's take a look at how Bitcoin has performed over time, one of the best performing assets in our lifetimes. You can see from 2010, it traded under a cent and it's currently trading at $108,000. In the last seven days, we actually broke all time highs, hitting a price of $110,000 especially with the huge institutional demand that we were seeing. Now, you may be wondering, how can you get Bitcoin? On CoinMarketCap, you can see all the different Bitcoin markets where Bitcoin is tradable, all of the exchanges that you are able to buy Bitcoin, some of the major platforms like Binance, Bybit, Coinbase, you can buy Bitcoin and then store it on a wallet. If you have questions about wallets, we have a video on everything you need to know about the best wallets and how to store your crypto. We also want to dive into the power of accumulating Bitcoin. This is done by DCABTC.com and you can put in your purchase amount, the frequency and the timeline of accumulating Bitcoin and compare it to other assets like DGI and gold to see how well your investment would have done. And of course, Bitcoin has outperformed pretty much everything. So it's important to just accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible. Adding on top of accumulating Bitcoin, there are more ways than just buying it on an exchange. You could receive it from a person as a gift or earning it for a product and service you might be selling or offering. And of course, mining Bitcoin, which is hard as a solo miner, but you could join pools and combine your resources. Bitcoin is more than just an investment. It's a new kind of money. If you're just getting into crypto, this is where it all begins. Check out our full written guide on blockchainacademics.com and explore more beginner resources while you're here. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you guys in the next video.